Hello everybody, it's your favorite normie back with another mediocre video. Today's video we will be looking at my top 10 favorite Mario games. Also before we get into the video, please note this is my opinion, so don't be upset if my opinion isn't the same as yours. Games such as Mario Kart, Smash Bros, Mario Party, or any of the Mario Sports series will not be included in this list. This list is based on the side scrollers, 3D Mario games, and RPG Mario games. The others will be in another video on a later date. Now that all that's out of the way, let's begin! Number 10 Alright, the first one on the list is Super Mario Bros. 3. Now this includes the original, All-Stars, and the Game Boy Advance version. Probably wondering why this is so high on the list? The answer's simple, it's just that whenever I play this, I get really bored of it. But don't get me wrong, guys, I had a blast when I used to play this when I was a kid. And it still can be a really fun game. And I also really thought it was such an improvement from the other games, especially because it was on the NES originally. Which is why it is at number 10. Number 9. Oh no, it's a new Super Mario Bros. game on a top 10 list. But let's be real, guys, honestly. This game is really solid. I mean, you fight a goddamn Goomba on steroids, for Christ's sake, and he's thick as fuck. This is also like the only 2D platformer Mario game with good variety of bosses. All the others are just Koopalings and Bowser. Like, how boring is that? Number 8. Wait, hold on a minute. You put Super Mario World at number 8? Are you on crack? Alright, let me explain. Okay? Okay. 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 Out of all the side-scrollers, this is definitely my favorite. I just feel like the 3D Mario games just have more to offer. Not to mention, this is such an incredible game for the Super Nintendo. But you gotta admit, these guys are pretty lame. Oh, and the cape is overpowered as fuck. Number 7. <sighs> well, looks like I have more explaining to do. I have barely played this game. But what I have played, it was pretty good. This would definitely be higher on the list if I've played more of it. But The Flood is pretty neat. It's just one of those games that I got recently, and I just really haven't had a chance to play it very much. But what the hell are these voices? Junior, I've got something difficult to tell you about Princess Peach. Number 6. Alright, Super Mario 3D World is the type of game that you love so freaking much when you first play the damn thing. And then, after you beat it, it's just like one of those games that you'll never go back to. Like, many of the people I know, they usually don't go back to this game. But yeah, like, there's loads of shit that you can do. Like, the stamps, the stars, the flag, all the extra worlds. I mean, hell, you can even unlock Rosalina. She's a beast, by the way. You can also be a fucking cat. Meow, meow, nigga. Number 5. For number 5, we have a tie between Mario Galaxy 2 and Luigi's Mansion. Starting off with Mario Galaxy 2, this game introduced the Cloud Mushroom, which is the most overpowered power-up in any Mario game. Also, you can ma now make Yoshi your slave. You can even give him loads of drugs that make him high, fast, and even see shit. Now I love Luigi's Mansion, it's so much different than all the other games. You even get to play as Luigi and his sexy mustache. Oh, yeah. Not to mention the graphics are fucking amazing for a game as old as me. Also you can play it on the 3DS now with even better graphics. I just can't wait for Luigi's Mansion 3. Number 4 Okay now we are into the absolute masterpieces. Super Mario 64 is a phenomenal game. Whenever I play this, I feel so free. There is so much you can do in this game. You can even hump a tree, not to mention pissing off this penguin. This game really proved how awesome the Nintendo 64 really is. And the DS version is just as awesome. Number 3. And oh man, do I love this game. I felt like this list needed at least one RPG game. But where do I even start? Oh yeah. This game has the best levels and music in any RPG or even Mario game. The characters are great, and it's just awesome how you can name your Yoshi whatever you want. Number 2 Okay, 
Now Mario Galaxy in the number one spot game are so close in ranking. It's literally by a hair. Talking about Mario Galaxy, this game is absolutely amazing. Inside and out. I don't know what drugs Nintendo was on, but they need to keep taking them fucking drugs. This game really defined what the Wii really was. This game was the reason people bought the console itself. They added so many new mechanics and power-ups like the Bee Mushroom, and even ones like the Spring Mushroom. <laughs> Which was kinda shit. But anyways, my absolute only problem with this game is the motion controls. And it isn't even that bad in the game. Unless you're on top of a fucking ball. And don't even get me started on the soundtrack! Number 1 Anybody know the definition of a perfect Mario game? Because I do. It's Super Mario Odyssey. I don't even know where to begin with this game. But I guess let's start with the incredible graphics and how awesome the level design is. And like, I don't know, maybe the fact that you can turn it into almost every living thing in the game, and even some inanimate objects. Not to mention driving around in a scooter like it's GTA. I really just can't picture a better Mario game. I just can't. Oh, in the moon. Yo, what's up guys? I just wanted to say thank you for watching, and make sure you guys are subscribed and press that notification bell so you guys can be notified whenever I make another video. I work really hard on this, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video.